Why do we find ugly animals so appealing? And what makes odd-looking creatures so cute? Evolution plays a role. According to Austrian zoologist Conrad Lorenz, human attraction to infantile features, such as big eyes, large heads, and soft bodies, is an evolutionary adaptation that helps ensure that adults care for their offspring, guaranteeing the survival of their species. These infantile features were coined Baby Schema by Lorenz in 1943. Weird-looking animals such as blobfish, pugs, eyes, and bulldogs all share these infantile qualities that trigger an affectionate response among humans and an innate instinct to nurture and protect. And these infantile characteristics increase a person's protective behavior, attention and willingness to care for the individual and reduce the likelihood of aggression towards an infant, says Marta Borghi, a researcher at the Institute Superior di Sanita in Rome, who has studied how baby schema relates to human-animal interaction. Read more about how this can lead us to become spider murderers and humans whose young depend completely on their caregivers for sustenance and protection. Such a response has clear value as it contributes to enhancing offspring's chances of survival, she says. A 2014 study by Borgi and other researchers found that the concept of cuteness is hardwired and develops at a very young age, with children as young as three showing a preference for animals and humans with big eyes, button noses, and round faces. We showed that the attentive response towards infantile facial traits in dogs and cats emerges very early during our development, says Borgi. The researchers analyzed the eye movements of children aged 3 to 6 and found that they were more focused on images of dogs, cats, and humans that had been digitally modified to give them enhanced infantile traits. They also asked the children to rate the images on a scale of 1 to 5 with one being not cute and five being very cute. The children rank round faces with high foreheads, big eyes, and small noses as cuter than those with less infantile traits. We showed that the degree of facial baby schema in dogs and cats is a salient trait affecting cuteness perception in children, says Borgi. Ugly animals often have other value. Some like the blobfish or the naked mole rat, live in extreme environments that they have adapted to in remarkable ways. Scientists are keen to study these animals to understand whether their biology might provide fresh insights that could lead to treatments for human health conditions such as cancer, heart disease, and neurodegenerative diseases. But while many ugly creatures are exquisitely adapted to their life in the wild, and can provide enormous benefits to the ecosystems they live in, they often still don't get as much attention as more traditionally cute and cuddly animals. This can result in a bias, which leads to many of the less attractive species being overlooked in terms of research. There are culture-led other factors that also drive our obsession with ugly cute animals. The ugly cute thing is very fashionable, says Rowena Packer, lecturer in companion animal behavior and welfare science at the Royal Veterinary College, University of London, in the UK. This is partly driven by social media, with many celebrities and influencers showing off pet pugs and French bulldogs on Instagram, she says. But there are some serious welfare concerns around this trend. Veterinarians are urging people to not choose a brachycephalic, or flat-faced dog breed because they suffer from serious health problems. Pogs and French Bulldogs, which have been selectively bred experience breathing difficulties, repeated skin infections, and eye diseases. A 2022 study concluded that Pogs can no longer be considered a typical dog from a health perspective as they face such severe health problems. Pugs in the UK are almost twice as likely to suffer from one or more health disorders each year compared to other breeds. In the summer, pugs are also at risk of heat stroke as they struggle to regulate their body temperature. 
If you think about wolves, they have very long noses, says Packer. They rely upon heat exchange through the nasal passage, which allows them to effectively regulate their temperature. They don't sweat like us. But pugs have very small nostrils and narrow airways, which makes it difficult for them to breathe and cool their bodies when it is hot. As a result, many pugs make snoring and snorting noises, which people often consider cute and a reflection of the dog's personality says Packer. But this is actually a sign of their obstructed airways. Despite their many health problems, pugs remain very popular. According to the Royal Veterinary College, there was a five-fold increase in pug registrations to the Kennel Club, the UK's National Dog Register, between 2005 to 2017. The American Kennel Club lists pugs as the 35th most popular dog breed out of 280 registered breeds. The French Bulldog, another brachycephalic, last year became the most popular dog in the U.S. by registrations for the first time. There are a lot of psychological barriers which prevent people from accepting the health problems of brachycephalic dogs, says Packer. People like the fact that pugs are very clownish and very lazy and they don't want to see them becoming more moderate by crossing them with other breeds. They're worried that they're not going to be this funny couch potato anymore, even though that is actually the embodiment of the diseases that we're giving them. Crossbreeding flat-faced dogs with other breeds is really essential, she says, as well as having really extreme phenotypes of body shapes, they also have very low genetic diversity. Genetic diversity is important as without it harmful traits and diseases can quickly spread through a population and ultimately cause them harm, or even to die out. A 2016 analysis of 102 registered English Bulldogs found that they had little genetic diversity in both their maternal and paternal lines, including in the part of the genome containing genes that regulate normal immune responses. Bulldogs are becoming caricatures of their original form, says Packer. There's a huge trend towards people wanting dogs with very exaggerated skin folding and having little pocket-sized bodies. But actually that reflects malformations with their spine. Their vertebrae are now malformed, which can lead to a whole host of neurological diseases. So while goofy features such as bulging eyes, and wrinkly faces may make us smile. We might want to reconsider our obsession with oddly cute pets. Hope you will be happy with this effort on our part. Definitely express your valuable opinion. Please like and subscribe our channel for more.